The Three Gorges in itself runs from Yingchang all the way up to Chongqing, about 660 kilometers. Before the Three Gorges, over a million people lived there. There are a thousand villages and countless historical sites. It was beautiful. The Three Gorges Dam put a stop to that and these people had to be displaced. Some people didn't get uh, reimbursed for their money. Some people were homeless, etc. We know all the stories. So the Three Gorges Dam is a horrible piece of architecture, even though it is quite stunning in itself. Are you confused? Well, let me explain. Why did they build the Three Gorges Dam? It all stems back to the Republic of China way back in 2021. It was Mao who sort of initiated it, but it didn't have enough money. And in 1994, it was it started to be built. But in order for it to be built, they had to flood the Three Gorges, the Yangtze itself, raising this beautiful UNESCO site into a waterway. Please note, it is beautiful, but not as beautiful. Now, I have been very lucky before the Three Gorges and been up from Yingchang near enough all the way to, sorry, from Wuhan all the way up to Chongqing on a Holiday Inn cruise um, riverboat. And it was a great trip. And I saw the very beginning of the Three Gorges Dam being built. Nowadays, you would see pictures like this on the internet saying how wonderful it is. They said when it was built at 33 billion American dollars, some people would say lower, some people would say higher, that it would last for 10,000 years. This got knocked down to 1,000 years and the more recent term is 100 years. So in 2094, is it still going to be there? Dams do not last a long time. They should really be decommissioned if they're not maintained in 50 years. The Hoover Dam in China, in the, U in the USA has been around since the 1930s, but it has been well maintained and been battered and beaten through weather and drought, etc. The Three Gorges near enough does the same. 2020 was a really bad year when it was in the world news related to the overflowing the cracks the leak the distortion the warps etc of course the chinese government or the free gorges corporation at first denied it then they admitted it but don't worry this is normal is it normal for a dam to be warped don't know so it was meant to produce electricity for 100 million people that's a lot of people um, you could say near enough uh, one ninth of the population of China, or maybe uh, one fifteenth of their, according to varying where the actual water is, if that makes sense to you. I remember being in Wuhan in the summer, for example, and it was incredibly hot, and then the electricity cut off maybe for four or five hours, and you had to lie on the floor just to keep cool. It was horrible. It's known, this area is known as the furnace of China. In the summer, it is incredibly hot. Nowadays, how much does electricity does it produce? Well, we can go to the Ministry of Water Resources and we can work it out here. See the Three Gorges Dam? It is at 156.10. Has it moved up and down? The maximum level is 175. And the height of the dam is like 181 or maybe 185. In 19, sorry, in 2020, there were waves lapping over the top of this, which we did in that particular year. So how much electricity is it producing? Well, 6,120 is the outflow. So maybe six or seven turbines out of the 32 are working producing maybe like 21%, which is tiny. And this has been going on near enough for a whole year. Hydro is clean, efficient energy, granted, yep. Yeah. But if there's no water, <laughs> it's just going to be a lump of concrete stuck in the middle of nowhere. Let's have a look at the levels. We've done that for you. Let's have a look at the satellite image. Now, this is the latest satellite image that I can find is clear from February the 1st. You can see nothing spectacular here. It's still there for the skeptics who say it got blown down, torn down, ripped down, blown up, etc. And the other satellite images for the rest of February, well, they're just cloudy, so you can't see anything. And... 
let's have a look at the weather. There is a pitter-patter of rain in central China. It is going to be very soon uh, the flood season in China, and we're all preparing for that. But first of all, let's take a look at the weather. I have been covering the Three Gorges Dam, getting very close to three years now. The highs, the lows, etc. The truth and the porky pies, the lies which come out. This is one of them where someone posted on Twitter about the Three Gorges Dam and how magnificent it is. The only trouble is, this is not the Three Gorges Dam. This is just another dam in China. Let me show you. Some people do ask me when is it going to collapse and some experts would say in the next 30 years but they did do this in 2020 when the weather was really bad in China and there were the floodgates, the sluice gates were all open, there were a lot of floods, They weren't, people downstream weren't warned about the floods, Wuhan was flooded, Shanghai was flooded, Nanjing was flooded, Yingchang was flooded and no compensation was given because they didn't warn the people, in other words they opened the sluice gates secretly etc especially at midnight. There were lots of videos related to that in 2020. So like any piece of architecture, any building, any structure is one day going to fall down. Maybe 100 years, maybe 200 years. My parents, um, my parents' house was built in 1697, but still standing good quality and that what it depends on was the free gorgeous dam of a good quality build or was it due with lots of corruption which even the minister of water resources and the manager of the free corporation said yeah there was a little bit of it here and there when they mean a little bit i could say they mean a lot transparency with government and state-owned companies is not very transparent because they only get into trouble. So lies are done all the time. We've seen that over the COVID numbers in China. Obviously, they don't make sense, but they just like sweep it under the carpet and it sort of just disappears. That's all I really got to time to mention today. Sorry, this is a little bit of a waffle. I haven't done a video about the Free Gorges Dam for a while. So if you do have any comments, please let me know. If there's any videos that you would like me to search, I am sort of planning and I do need to save up some pretty pennies to go to the Free Gorges Dam this summer and hopefully the sluice gates would be open to see in its all its so-called glory and if you want to help me with that trip you can go to the links in the description below through super thanks through membership and through patreon as well it's going to be rather an expensive trip but i'd love to kind of do that and everything will be okay let's leave it there for today thank you so much for your time and have a happy awesome excellent tuesday or possibly Wednesday now, or maybe Monday for some people, wherever you are in the world. My name is James. This is Tokyo, who's listening very carefully, the producer. God bless. Thank you.